Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser version 1.85 with Chromium 143 has been made available and the update rolled out late yesterday in my part of the world. So after the update has been installed, browser version and build is sitting on 1.85.111, Chromium platform 143.0.7499.40. Now, the Chromium platform will also include the security fixes for this week. So that will be the weekly security fixes, which totaled 13 security fixes in total, addressing four high severity vulnerabilities, a couple of mediums and a couple of lows. And the high severity vulnerabilities are type confusion, inappropriate implementation. We've got two of those and they use after free, which are common exploits. So 13 security fixes have rolled out in total for the Chromium platform. Now focusing on what's new in Brave Browser version 1.85, and first of all, if you are using the wallet, there's two updates and a couple of fixes rolling out for the wallet. That's the cryptocurrency side of things. And if you're using Leo AI, which is the built-in AI chatbot, just to mention a couple of add-ons. They've added skills feature to Brave Leo, added task UI to Brave Leo, added UI for attaching bookmarks to conversations. Added the ability to add history as attachments by using the at mentions widget. Added the ability to add bookmarks as attachments by using the at mentions widget. And improved Brave Leo handling for GitHub files. So quite a lot going on in regards to Brave Leo, the AI chatbot. Now looking at some general features and improvements and updates. First of all, you'll notice if we have a look at the new tab here in the tab strip, that Brave has added the Brave Favicon to the new tab. So you've got the little Brave Favicon icon, the lion's head, which I actually think is a nice little UI touch. And by default, Brave has the outlined folder icons, which just give you an outline of the folder here as an example with my old bookmarks to the top right. And Brave has now added a flag that can enable the yellow icons, if you so wish, on Windows to match, obviously, the look and feel of Windows. So if we head into our experimental flags page by heading to brave colon forward slash forward slash flags, and we just type in icon. This is the flag we are looking for. Use fold bookmark folder uses the legacy fold bookmark folder icon instead of the default outlined icon. We change that from default to enabled, and then you'll have to relaunch the browser to apply that flag. And now you'll see that that folder now is the yellow folder. So if you want to try that out or would like to change that outline folder to the yellow, that's how you do it now in version 1.85. And for the next one, if we head into our settings appearance and we scroll down, Brave has added a new setting on this page called show rounded corners on main content areas. Now by default, the browser frame has got a squared off look. Now this is off by default. So if you toggle that on, you can see now, I don't know if you can see it properly in the video, but that browser frame now is more rounded, the rounded corners. So if we turn that off, we can see it's back to the square. So that's a little toggle. If you want to make the browser look a little bit more rounded, you can do so by enabling that. Now just take note though that Brave says this has been rolled out in phases, starting at 15% of the user base. So I was fortunate enough to get it at the get-go. So you may or may not see it just yet, but nonetheless, that's that new setting. And then there are two security fixes taking place under the hood for the browser itself, which is important. And I'm just going through the key highlights for the purpose of this video, guys. There are a couple of other improvements taking place under the hood, but just to keep you guys posted. And once again, Brave has improved the ad blocking, which is always good to hear and good to see, because I think Brave Shields is one of the best ad blockers out there. And then if you are using Brave News, Brave says that 
It's improved the performance of Brave News by updating how Brave News stores large images. So that's a performance improvement. And then if we just quickly head to a split view, if you're running the browser on Mac OS, Brave says it's updated the rounders. Brave says it's updated the rounded corners UI to have proper padding when split view is active on Mac OS. So that's a UI tweak and adjustment on that platform. And if you are using vertical tabs, there's another user interface tweak and adjustment with Brave saying it's updated the margin between vertical tabs and tab contents when the vertical tab bar is expanded on Hover. And then just to mention a couple of others, Brave says it's updated the color scheme handling for themes. And there's a crash fix when the Brave newsfeed update flag was disabled. So that's important. And then another for vertical tabs, Brave says it's fixed the inability to drag and drop vertical tabs into groups when targeted group only contains a single tab. So quite a lot going on with user interface tweaks and adjustments in version 1.85. So guys, that's more or less what's new in this latest release. So if you are using Brave, go check it out. And I'm sure if you are using the browser, it would have up updated itself in the background as it's known to do very good in that department. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.